Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast with your host, Mike Campion. If you are passionate about the cleaning industry, you are in the right place. Love what you hear? Spread the word and tell the cleaning world this is the place to be. Want more? Check out www.growmycleaningcompany.com for free online video trainings, free ebook downloads, free blog posts, and of course, all the podcast episodes. Everything you need to grow your cleaning company is at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. And now, on with the show. Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast, where Mike coaches owners of cleaning companies every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on anything and everything related to building and growing cleaning companies. If you are committed to growing your cleaning company, go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com and get everything you need to create the cleaning company you have always wanted. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, you can email me at net at growmycleaningcompany.com. Or call 480-648-5149 and apply to be on the show. And I'm excited to talk to you. Today, I'm chatting with Mike from Grow My Cleaning Company. If you want to get a hold of him, you can email him at mike at growmycleaningcompany.com or call me at 480-648-5149. Either way, we're excited to help you grow. So Mike, are you married? Do you have kids? What part of the country do you live in? All right. That sounds a little coached up, but I'm going to answer those questions. (laughs) Uh, I am currently married to a lovely woman. Looks a lot like you, as a matter of fact. All right. So there's that. Um, I have, we have our little boy. We just adopted little Christian, six months old. And then I've got my 17-year-old boy, Caleb. And uh, I live in sunny Phoenix, Arizona, as evidenced by sunny Phoenix, Arizona. I don't know what you guys can see or not, but that's, oh, that's my uh, backyard. Came out here just to make all you people in the East Coast hate me. So yeah, that's, that's kind of my life as it is. Um, so do you want to tell people why? I don't know. Should you want to talk to people or should I tell people why you're interviewing me and why I'm the guest today? Uh, that's a great question. Um, we can make them guess. That's exciting. Yeah, the problem is we can't hear or see them. So they yeah, might- this is why everybody pays you and not me. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just the monkey that pushes the buttons. <laughs> All right. Well, I can actually ask you my first canned question, which is, uh, how did you get into the cleaning business? Oh, fantastic question. Uh, those who don't know my story, uh, I bought a service master franchise at 22 years old. I begged, borrowed, and stole. And uh, all my employees quit on the first day. And I figured my way out of that little situation. We tripled that thing in the first couple of years and uh, sold it and used the money for that to buy a bunch of other businesses. And I sold the last couple for seven figures each. So clean nation, I don't need your money. And, but the problem is I'm still addicted to business. So we got in the position of, I didn't want to have a bunch of employees and overhead and nonsense, uh, but I still love business. So I thought I would go back to my roots and uh, find some owners of cleaning companies and and see if I could live vicariously through them and give them the loving on all the stuff I've learned over the last 20 years. Well, that actually ties into my next question, which is why am I interviewing you today instead of you interviewing some other person? <laughs> well, I can, you, like, you want to you answer some questions? Do you own a cleaning company? I don't own a cleaning company. I do a lot of cleaning though, but I don't, I don't own a cleaning company. Um, so today, yeah, we thought we'd do something a little fun. Hopefully we'll see you guys can email <laughs> us if it's fun or not. But um, yeah, we, I've got an exciting announcement and I wanted to take, I wanted to literally share this with uh, cleaning nation first. I've not told anybody other than my beautiful bride and the dogs. Uh, but I've got a free online training. That's going to be, uh, if I do say so myself, spectacular. It's uh, crap. I should know this day. I do know this date. It's April 14th. And uh, we're going to give you guys a link to sign up for it. There's no charge and it's going to be awesome training. My best stuff on how to get customers. And I wanted to share with Cleaning Nation first. So I figured instead of me just doing it by myself, everything's better with a pretty girl. So enter you as pretty girl and me <laughs> as loud mouth. Awesome. Um, well, do you want to explain anything else on like kind of what they're going to get in this free training? Do you right, want so to all, tease it out or? Well, all the good Cleaning Nation will just go sign up. Well, here, let me, let me just <laughs> take it. For all of you who just trust me and know me and love me, I'll just give you the link to sign up and the rest of you can hang out. And uh, let me tell you why it's going to be amazing. But if you go to growmycleaningcompany.com 
forward slash customer attraction, growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash customer attraction. You can just sign up and you'll get all the good stuff there. But I guess I'll give a little bit of the fun action for those of you who don't know me that well and don't trust me enough to just sign up because I told you to. I wouldn't trust him at all. Yeah. And the sun's going down. So I'm, I've got like know, eight minutes maybe to tell you what's <laughs> Um And I talk too much. So it's going to take a half hour. But yeah, uh, so long story short, it's a free online training. And basically we've got a couple, th- I'll, I'll just tease out a couple things. First, you guys ever get sick of, um, bidding against low ballers and cheaters, you know, I hear every day constantly from you guys. Uh, it's not fair. I can't keep up. Nobody has, you know, I'm paying for workers comp and it's 20%. Nobody else does it. Um, and everybody else is just bidding for just crazy, stupid stuff that I can't keep up with. We're going to talk about that. I'll give uh, I guess I'll give one of the tricks. So the, the first trick is to be the only bidder. Um, if you keep trying to bid against those people, you're going to lose. So a lot of what we're going to talk about on the webinar is how to be the only bidder and how to position yourself as a salesperson, not a consultant. I'm actually going to change and go this way because as we lose sun. Oh, look at you. Yeah, wait, hold look on. Look at all that sun. So handsome. Now I'm going to remember why I married you. And yeah, so any of you, uh, yeah, there you go. I got this hot chick to marry me. So <laughs> something about something. So that's the first thing we're talking about is um, how to avoid cheaters and low ballers and um, what to do. So is that, is that enough? Do I need to go more? What's you talk? You're the host. I'm supposed to be. Oh, man, that's so good. Okay. So what about like, what about the benefits? What's in it for them? I mean, yeah. Okay. So there's the cheat of the low ballers, but that's gotta be super hard, right? Like there's gotta be something that they well, can't two. achieve in like a day, a week, a month. It's gotta be like, Oh, 10 years from now, my someday that will happen. When you really looking, I'll be on the webinar. But <laughs> know, maybe that's just for you. Um, well, let's see. Um, oh, well, a lot of what, uh, here's what we're gonna talk about. A lot of the people I coach think the answer is working harder. So they do a lot of, um, you know, I get to them or they get to me and they're like, I'm working 60 hours a week and maybe they're making money. Maybe they're not. Sometimes they're working 60 hours a week and they're still not making money. Uh, they're on call 24 seven. Um, and they think that they can fix the problem by doing $10 an hour work, you know, that, and they, if they just do more of it, they'll, they'll work their way out of it. And we're going to talk about how to avoid that and how to not do that. So if that's something that interests you, you should show up. If that's not interesting, um, maybe just watch some like Seinfeld reruns. I don't, I don't know. No, oh, I could do that. I could totally do that. There's a plane. Can you hear the plane? Is that just yep. me? No? I can't hear the plane. Yeah. We've got a very high dollar speaker system in my wife's MacBook pro. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, and I'll give you one more thing before we go. How, how many minutes in are we? Because we're supposed to go like 20. I don't want to. Oh, man. I don't even know. I don't. Sorry. No. All right. Sorry. I guess I'm not technical. This is. No. This is, we're yeah. some minutes in. All right. Well, I'll give you one more thing. I don't want to talk forever, but I want to make sure you guys get how awesome it's going to be. And it's going to be free. So that's. We we'll hang out for an hour. We'll teach you how to get. How to bid against low ballers and how to be the only bidder and how to position yourself properly. We'll talk about. Um, how to not be on call 24 seven, how to get out of doing the $10 an hour stuff, uh, how to run your company. And instead of just putting out fires all day, actually be an owner. And for the big finale, we're going to talk about, cause a lot of people think for getting customers, they just need like all these leads and a huge advertising budget and just 47 things going on. And you really don't. Um, so we're going to talk about how you can add a hundred thousand uh, dollars, to your cleaning company, which is 300 visitors to your website per month. So that's, most of you guys now, if you're average, you're probably getting about a thousand already. You're just not doing it right. So where I'm going to walk through a strategy of how to get 300 uh, visitors to your website, how to turn them into leads, how to turn those leads into bids, those bids into sales. Uh, and if you think about it, if you, if you could add a hundred thousand dollars to your business on 300 website visitors a month, think of what you could do with a thousand or 3000. I'm no math guy, but a hundred, wait, hold on. If 300 will add a hundred thousand to your business, 3000 a month might add a million. Just saying. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. And genius. Clean, clean nation, if the math is wrong, feel free to send hate mail. But uh, we so definitely check that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good start. Is that, <laughs> is that is, so again, if these things are you, you should absolutely be on the webinar. It's going to be live. It's on the 11th. So uh, not no, on the 14th. 14th. I said 11th. It's not going to be on 11th. No. no. <laughs> that's the wrong day. Although, yeah, it won't, it won't happen then. Uh, all the information on growingcleaningcompany.com forward slash customer attraction. So whatever date that says, which is going to be the 14th, like my lovely bride told me, that's when it's actually going to be. But it's going to be live, so I will stand afterwards to answer questions. So it's not a pre-recorded deal where uh, I'll probably, I don't even know if I'll do a replay or not, but um, this one's live. I will be there. I will answer questions. If you're on, we will talk. We will have fun. Maybe I'll share a recipe. That's not, I won't share a recipe. I don't have any recipe. Do you want to share no, a recipe? You, don't, you do. You have one recipe. I can tell you how to make eggs in the morning. Yeah. For your wife. 
That's true. Less than most. And coffee. Coffee goes a long way. Coffee does Actually, go a long way. I'm sorry for the low energy. I think I need some coffee today. So um, that's it. That's what I have. I don't know. Did I, did I do okay, Natalie? Did oh, yeah. Know? Actually, well, you know what? What time it is? It's the lightning round town. Like, uh, I've never, you know, in all the podcasts I've done, I've never answered lightning rounds. So I'm okay. sorry. I wonder what you're going to ask. I have no way. To- <laughs> okay. Mr. Campion. Mrs. Campion. Best piece of advice you've ever received. Gosh. Um, you know, I'm going to tease the webinar one more time. With the, I don't know if it's a be- pretty solid piece of advice, but maybe the best. If you can't be the cheapest, be the most expensive. True. That's the thinker. That's a writer down. If you can't be the cheapest, because think about it, second cheapest never gets the job, right? If the guy that's going to buy the cheapest is going to buy the cheapest, being the second cheapest doesn't do you any good, nor third, nor fourth. So either be the cheapest, be Walmart, or be Saks Fifth Avenue. Just saying. True. I think it's an old guy reference because Saks is like a million. What's a new, like, hip, expensive place to shop? Be that. Yeah. Barney. These rink- I'm not, these hip people don't have these. Well, I'm not hip, so. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Our best piece of advice. If you can't be the most, if you can't be the cheapest, <laughs> Okay. And uh, the biggest mistake you have ever made in the cleaning business. Ah, I like that one. It's a good one. Um, well, I lost all my employees the first day. So if you ever buy a cleaning company, it's hard. You can't obviously, there's no slave labor, so you can't make them stay, but maybe write something in where they'll guarantee something or something should have happened when I lost all, <laughs> <to my> best, <laughs> all the employees quit the first day I gave them all my money. So uh, that was probably the biggest mistake I made is buying a cleaning company and then having all the employees quit and how to clean. Yeah, that was bad times. <laughs> Okay. And the I mean, last one. I don't know why I'm so mean to my guests. These are tough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, one idea Cleaning Nation can put into practice that will make their business or lives better. Can I, can I be cheesy? No. Oh, well, that's all I have. <laughs> I'm going to be cheesy. Show up to the web. <laughs> it's true. It's a. Uh, yeah, sorry. But that's a good one. If you, if you sign up for the webinar, uh, the online training, the live today. I really think that's probably the best thing you can do for your cleaning business. If you need customers, if you don't need customers, I don't know what I can do to help you, man or lady. Sorry, we're all very gender friendly here. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. Sign up for the webinar. Oh, GrowMyCleaningCompany dot com forward slash customer attraction. We'll hang out. Best hour you'll ever spend growing your cleaning business, certainly for free. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, there you go. Did I like? Do we do we round the lightning? Is that have I at all? I think so. We could start asking embarrassing questions like. You know, um, hmm. Ever been arrested? Have I ever been arrested? Yeah, all right, I'll give you this free story. So I was in Grand Junction, Colorado. This is how embarrassing. All right, this is so embarrassing. So I had my Service Master franchise. I don't think I've heard this story before, by the way. You, I'll tell it. <laughs> you go clean I don't know if I want to marry a man with a rap sheet. Too late. You're in. We were Dang it. You're not going anywhere. So I was, so for whatever reason, I was like 22 and I thought I was a hundred. So I had this black Lincoln Continental. <laughs> of course you did. Cause you're 9 million years old. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought it was awesome at the time. So <laughs> I'm sure you I did. Was going, literally going to bed on a job. And I think that job actually ended up having asbestos. That was a bummer. Um, so I was going to bed on a job and I got pulled over by the cops and, um, I was really stressed out about being late for this job because, you know, I, I don't want to be late. I want to be on time. So I was like, wow, God, they're going to give me a ticket, but hopefully it'll go quick and I can get out of here. So I'm, I'm sitting there pulled over and they're behind me, right? So they pulled me over. They come up, hey, blah, 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 sit and wait. And then they're here. And then like three or four other cops pull up. So I'm starting to get pissed thinking like they're, and they're all just talking. So I'm like, come on, man, I got an appointment to go to. You guys are all just jibber jabbering. So I get out of the car to go back and be like, guys, just write me up. I got to go. And the guy yells at me. He's like, get in the car. Don't move. <laughs> shoot me in the head so i got in the car and um the, like four of them come up now together and it's you know come on what am i gonna do and they pull me out of the car they put handcuffs on and we're at the side of the road and i'm like at the time we're working with i've got my hand you can't tell but my hands are behind my back to show you what happened and uh we're working with a youth ministry at our church and we're at the side of the road and people are driving by and i'm like cuffed and they're putting me in the back of the cop car um, you know, and they did the whole thing with a head, you know, on TV where they make sure that they don't hit your head. They did that. No, you got a big head. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and so I'm cuffed in the back of the car feeling like kind of a dirt bag. And I'm like, Hey, what, 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 what's why? <laughs> why would you do this to me? And he said, well, you, you're credit card fraud. You stole credit cards and that's illegal. And we're going to take you to jail. And, um, not having any clue what this guy was talking about. I said, um, sir, I don't, know what you're talking about. He's like, well, sorry, you're going to jail. 
so I said, listen, I'm kind of, I'm a business owner. I'm a nice guy. I'm not going to fight you. Uh, I'll go wherever you want to go, but I'm telling you right now, I have no clue what you're talking about. And I will kind of freak out. You know, if you arrest me, we go through all this crap. Cause I literally, I'm the wrong guy. And we're going to have a huge problem when I get to jail. I get an attorney and they look up and I don't know what the mistake is, but I have no clue what you're talking about. So if you take me to jail, it's going to be a huge problem. I just, I'm telling you that. So I'm not fighting you. I'm not arguing, but at some point I'm going to get an attorney and I'm telling you, I don't know what we're talking about. And it's going to come to light that you made a mistake and it's really going to reflect poorly on you. And I don't think you want to do that. So maybe we could figure out what's going on before you take me to jail, see what happens. And uh, so he was standing right there and he had his it was, I'm a hundred. So this is back when they had huge walkie talkies like this. And he goes, Hey, can I get a description of the guy? And, uh, they gave a description like 300 pounds, like 35 years old, the time I'm 22. And I'm a little chubby, I'll admit, but I was not three. <laughs> so long story short, there's another Michael G campion with my birthday, apparently with some sort of credit card situation. So <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they apologized. They didn't give me a ticket. Uh, I was late for my appointment. They were very nice after that, and uh, along, along it went. So I don't know. Does that count as getting right? I did get cuffed and put in the back that, of the car. That's close. That's close. But, okay. All right. I feel like now I've been talking for a long time, and the sun's almost down. Here you guys want to see the sexy sun? Can you see it? I don't I can't really work. Anyway, just take yeah. my word for it. Enough already. The sun's going down. So <laughs> do you have any questions? Are we done? I'm, I'm done talking. I'm done. Uh, I'm done talking. All right. I suppose. All right. Peace out. <laughs> All right, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but I'll bet you there's an outro. I, I know. I'm getting to the outro. I'm yeah. getting there. My, yeah. Just trying my own thing. Now I'm done talking. All right. Okay. No Thank you. Word. Are you going to let me do it now or are you just going to? Oh, you're terrible. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Art, I'm done. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. All right. I'm going to mute you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your passion and your desire to grow. I appreciate you. Cleaning Nation appreciates you. If you want to be the first to get in on this amazing online training, go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com forward slash customer attraction and sign up for free. See you there. Seems like we should charge them. (laughs) Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.